African lions have been researched for decades for many reasons, namely because of their position as top predator in the food pyramid on the African savanna. Lions are critically endangered, so captive population management in zoos is critically important at this stage. Differences exist between wild and zoo populations, so social structure is more difficult to observe in zoos. It is difficult for zoos to have an entire pride, for example, and give them the amount of space that is needed to properly observe natural reactions. So observations in the wild are critically important to research. But is observation enough? This is where genetics comes in. Genetics is vital to tell us what happens when we're not looking. What are the lions up to behind the scenes? Longtime lion researcher Dr. Michael Briggs, veterinarian and big cat expert, along with his wife Beth Ament, who is a veterinary technician, travel to Africa as part of their work on behalf of the African Predator Conservation and Research Organization. For a long time they worked in zoos and looked at the captive population of lions and analyzed their social structures, their physiology, their overall health. Now they go to Africa to collect samples by darting lions like you're about to see here. And then they collect morphometric measurements as well as blood samples. These samples are sent to Dr. Jean Dubach, wildlife geneticist in Chicago, who then analyzes and genotypes the DNA for them. What does this DNA tell us that the observations can't? The DNA tells us a great deal. It can tell us about paternity, who the father was. It can tell us about maternity, who the mother is, since there's multiple females in a group. It can tell us about relatedness, how related one cub is to another. It can tell us about gene flow, how different lions move into different populations. It can tell us even about sneak matings as rogue males enter prides and mate with females without the males in charge knowing. But there's many things that you can't conclude from simply observing, though observation is important. The genetic information helps us manage lions in zoos, but also tells us a lot about what's going on in the wild so that we can manage our lions better in zoos. So when you see lions at the zoo next time, or any animal for that matter, it's actually part of a larger population that exists in North America, in all the zoos in the country, to help protect genetic diversity and maintain healthy populations.